Hi, it's Matt here from Tubio.com. In this video, I wanted to teach you how to fast track some of your keyword, initial keyword research, but definitely don't skimp on any of your keyword research because it's so critical to everything you do. Everything you build after this will be based around these keywords. So if you, uh, it's like a house, if you skimp on the footings, the house may well fall over or get washed away no matter how good a job you do after that. So let's take a look. I'm not going to go into AdWords, Google AdWords too much. This is was when I did a Google search, this was the number one website that came up both as an ad and a, I think it was second in the organic search. So we're going to use it as our example. So one of the first things you can do, um, they were obviously making money, they've got ads all over the place, it's quite a big website. They're second in the organic search, so they're doing well in SEO. So we're going to right click on them and go view page source, which I've already done. And then we're going to go up in Chrome to your top right corner and you're going to right click and go uh, find. So find. And you're going to type in keywords and hit enter. And up comes the result, which I've already got there for you. Now that's telling us in their code that runs their website what have they actually entered that they want to be found for and there's the, the words there but the other two important areas here is what have they entered in their description and in their title and when you come up with the various words in there straight away you're going to see that they're looking for women's shoes buy shoes online Shoes Online, Style Tread, which is their name, Latest Women's, Men's, Kids, and then various combinations of that will come up. So that's one quick way is, is spy on the competition. Don't be afraid to spy on your competition and see what they're doing. Okay, another quick way is to head over to, oh sorry, there's our initial page, which... Uh, there's their ad just there and you'll notice it's obviously a good area to get into you've got online shoes there's a number of people advertising and it's no surprise that shoes are going to be a very um, good seller but that's one of the characteristics you're looking for if you go searching and there's no advertisers and there's not a lot of information then it's probably a bit of a hint to you that maybe you're barking up the wrong tree but anyway that's another lesson so let's have a look at uh, this one's a, a very good tool. SEO book, and one of the um, probably the leading SEO uh, advice in the world. And they have this keyword density analyzer tool. It's a free tool. You don't even have to log in, and you just enter the web page and press get, and up comes a summary like such. So it tells you straight away. And I've analyzed the. Uh, style tread site which we're studying and it's another way of finding out the uh, page title the keywords this way you don't have to go searching through the code meta descriptions so again they're the keywords that they're going to be looking at um, and then if you scroll down it actually gives you the densities of each word as well so you can see what their leading words and phrases are you know this is their home page and this one if you look at their two words, because it's their two and three word uh, ones that are going to be important. And, okay, so they've got various brands here. And this is, their home page is a little bit unique in that it's set up like a catalogue. So it just depends on which shoes they've got on the home page. And that's probably even a revolving thing. But I'm just showing you the process. So, and I'll, I'll show you also, because we're into YouTube marketing. If we head over to YouTube and we did a search for online shoes, one of the, and then we uh, filter out the, and find a video that's got a really high amount of views, one of the first ones that comes up is this, findthose.com, and it's talking about office shoes, and it's a video and it's got 76,000, 78,600 views, which is quite considerable, and straight away you'll get a bit of an idea of what they're doing if you if you have a look in their uh, description and I'll tell you you know they're doing UGG, Vans, Converse okay they've got all their brands there but what we want to know is what are their keywords so again we do the old trick where we right click somewhere just on the website and go view page source 
up will come the meta data, or oh sorry, the uh, HTML or the files that are running it. And again, we go over to the right and we right click and we go find, sorry, left click and go find, and we're going to put in keywords. And up will come their keywords. So here's their keywords, and they're probably the exact same as what we found in those other sites. But sometimes uh, a video might be, you know, they've got a really ordinary website, but they're absolutely powering on YouTube. So this is a way to find out how they're going on YouTube, what t keywords they're targeting. So that's a couple of methods of how to target keywords very, very quickly. Now, another way is you can actually, if you don't like this method of going into the source code, you can actually copy the URL, go back to your SEO book, okay, and we go back to the input page, plug it in here, control V, which is a paste. Now you can see here they give you some search options. If you're just after the keywords or the description or the title, or if you're only after uh, two or three word key links, you can uh, specify that here before you click submit. Narrow your search down a little bit. So, but let's just take a look and see what comes up when we hit submit. So again, here we go. Now on that previous page, on their website, we noticed that we had uh, keyword density of about 1.45% for that uh, shoe site. Now this video, on the other hand, this is picking up keywords from the whole page that it's on, which will include these uh, videos over here. Okay, and this is one of the reasons why you've got to be a little bit careful uh, using the keyword density, t uh, sorry, the SEO when you're searching YouTube, the SEO tool, and sometimes why you're better off going to the page source because what you'll see is it's picking up things like play next, duration, play now, which are they're embedded in the video um, or the videos on the YouTube site. But if you have a look at the one word straight away, you can start to see shoes, okay, shoes, fashion, online, wear, shop find house, okay, so you're starting to see them, and if we go over to the uh, three word phrases, you'll also see that they're coming up, so you've got shoe, 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 uh, shoes online, footwear, and you're starting to see the densities there, so you do have to pick through it a little bit more, so let's go back to the uh, page source, my apologies, here we go, and that, obviously you can see with YouTube, that's going to be a better option, is to bring up the page source with the right click. So anyway, I hope that helps. Don't, whatever you do, do not skimp on your uh, keyword research. Make sure you spend the time, get your keywords, spend your time in the keyword Google AdWords tool. Now, if you are wanting more advice, there'll be a link in this video. Head over to tubio.com. We have a free report. There's also a video on YouTube outlining what that what's in that free report, but it's free anyway. So head over to YouTube, uh, sorry, Tubio, and the, right at the top of the page, there's a subscribe button. Just put in your email. Don't worry, we won't spam you. We will send out occasionally, and what we do send out will be high value. So if you're interested and you want to find out a lot more about how to start one of these campaigns for your YouTube advertising from scratch, there's 13 pages with around about four or five major tips and strategies on each. And grab a copy of that free report.